Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're doing well. I've got a quick video for you today. I'm gonna to show you how to turn off or undo the outline mode in Adobe Illustrator. You might not even know that you've done this accidentally. Okay, so I've got a, just a illustration thing I was working on, testing some things out. The outline mode, is Command or Control Y as a shortcut key. More than likely, you might have accidentally turned it on. So it's up here in the View dropdown, and if you accidentally turned it on, it's gonna get rid of photos, and it's gonna show you an outline of your artwork. And there doesn't seem to be a good way to back out of it unless you know exactly what you hit. So you can come up here and go back to your normal preview, or you can press Command or Control Y to switch in and out. Now outline mode actually does have a purpose. It allows you to see overlapping shapes and objects. For instance, I have a lot of fills and overlap in this image. If I turn on outline mode, I can see where they line up, where they don't. And as you can see, for instance, over here on the ear, I've got some things that don't necessarily line up. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And as you zoom in, that's Z for the shortcut key, and then you can click and drag in and out. You'll notice how poorly or well your artwork is lining up. And then you can always hit that command or control Y to go back to your normal view. Anyway, that's just a quick tip for the day. In case you accidentally hit that outline mode, which I know when I started learning Illustrator, I had no idea what I'd accidentally hit that turned all of my artwork into only lines and I couldn't figure out how to get back. This is how and also why you could use outline mode strategically in your artwork if you have a lot of overlapping shapes and paths. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials and I'll see you next time. How's it going everyone? I hope you're doing well. I've got a quick video for you. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're doing well. I've got a quick video for you today.